Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, boy, I tell you what, uh, here, uh, Jesse here on BP Earth Watch is talking about this hurricane uh, that has just come across the Cayman Islands. And I believe one friend of mine uh, shared with me 175 mile per hour sustained winds, devastating everything in the Cayman Islands. Uh, now this thing is barreling down, going to hit the Gulf, expected to re-strengthen up again. They said it was greater than a Cat 5. Now that was from a friend of mine from FEMA that said that there. So y'all can only imagine if it hits southern Texas or even if it veers up and hits Louisiana, any place like that, especially if it hits Louisiana, I mean, it'll be done for. I, I don't see anything being able to withstand such a powerful storm like that at all. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about as well. I did this video the other day. Started to look like it might just go viral. It hit 74,000 views, kind of slowing down a little bit today. Uh, know you uh, now you know who the Antichrist is, um, and I don't exactly know why I even named it that at the time, but. Uh, I do get into the way to know who the Antichrist is, and I guess that's really the point I'm trying to make with the title there. Uh, and it has everything to do with the building of the Third Temple. And I know there's a lot of people that believe that the building of the Third Temple is certainly a uh, an event that's going to be happening here in the not-so-distant future. And I kind of wanted to go over some of these scriptures again, especially in light uh, and I'm not really sure. Uh, Brother Gary had sent me a message on text there, and he was talking to me about Daniel. Uh, and specifically here, oh, let me find that place. Yeah, right here in verse 25. And uh, in this one here, where it speaks about the prince uh, that's going to come, the anointed prince, which is the Messiah. Uh, right here it says, one anointed a prince. That is speaking none other than Jesus Christ. Know therefore and discern that from the going forth of the word to restore and to build uh, Jerusalem and unto one anointed a prince shall, shall be seven weeks and for three score and two weeks uh, it should, shall be built again with a broad place and a moat but in troublous times. And he pointed that out, this broad place and a moat and uh, he says, you know, he's kind of alluding, if I understand Brother Gary right, he was, it seems like to me he was alluding to uh, this is not really something that we've seen happen. Could this be that that portion of this building would be a future time period? And so I'm sitting there looking at this in the Hebrew language and I'm going like something just does not add up here uh, because right here is where we get what they're translating as uh, uh, it shall be built again with a broad place and a moat. It doesn't even speak about building it with a moat. A moat is like a, a wide ditch or something around the, uh, the perimeter, so to speak there, uh, but in troublous times. Uh, and... Now, but the thing is, though, is you got to remember, though, you got to back up now, therefore, and discern that from the going forth of the word to restore and to build Jerusalem until one anointed a prince, so it'll be seven weeks and three score and two weeks. This really doesn't even speak about the building of the, of the uh, second temple in the first place. It's only talking about the rebuilding Jerusalem. But it's implied... As far as the temple, a lot of people have thought about that because even Jesus, as we've mentioned beforehand, says here, and I like to use the Hebrew version of this because he said this is the, uh, you know, it says, and this gospel, that is evangelium, will be preached in all the earth for a witness concerning me to all nations, and then the end will come. This is the Antichrist, and this is the abomination which desolates which was spoken by Daniel as standing in the holy place. Let the one who reads understand. And as I shared with you in that video the other day there, he actually uses the word antichristos right there. It's a transliterated in Hebrew, but a Greek word antichristos. And it's act that he's actually that he is the abomination or, or this is the abomination uh, the standing in the holy place that, that was spoken by the Arpe Daniel, 
by the mouth of Daniel. Bemakum, bemakum kodesh ve'akore yabin. So he, that, uh, the one that has the, the divine understanding that reads this, see, would understand what this is all talking about. And in my opinion here, that this Antichrist is going to be, he is the abomination, the Antichrist is that abomination of desolation that's going, to, that's going to come, that's going to bring about a desolation of the believers, is really what that comes down to being. But coming back to Daniel 9 now, and we're going to jump over to Daniel 7 just briefly because of what I'm getting into here. Um, as I said to you, they translate this, it shall be built again with a broad place and a moat. Okay, it shall be built again. Now, Tashuv is to return. They're translating that built again because of the word Tashuv. You shall return. Tashuv, that's what that means. You shall return. Ve Navi excuse me, ve nibanata ruach ve charutz. Okay, the rechov is the word road. I'm leaving out that middle word right there right now for a reason. What word am I leaving out? Let me show you. Right now I'm leaving this out just for a moment. But the word here, rechov, okay, and this next word, ve charutz, is an diligently. But why did I leave out that one word? They're saying built again. Tashuv ve nibanata and there is a possibility that can be used as built. So you shall return to build again the road diligently. Hmm. But in trouble or and in troubling uh, Haitim. Actually doesn't even use the word time. So I'm a little bit perplexed because I haven't told you yet what this is here. That's to bring forth a son, or sons, we should say, um, to return and to bring forth, that could literally be, and I'll show you what I mean, to bring forth sons. Let me just show you that, though. All right, and they have shall be built, and there it is right there, Bina is the root word that is being used in that. And what is Bina? It can be, it can be begin to build, obtain children. To obtain children. Now, the reason why I don't put aside, I put on there, basically obtain sons, not children in this case here, but it can be children. You could use it either way, Bina. All right, and the reason why I look at that as a possibility, because when that anointed prince comes, and you shall return, Tashuv ve ni binta, You shall return and bring forth children in the street very diligently. And, of course, that street, Rehov, could be the way. Um, it's just kind of got me kind of perplexed at this point. For one, it's definitely nothing to do with a moat. All right, you can take the word moat completely out of there. There is no deep ditches being dug here. You don't translate any of the words like that. But Bina. It just makes me wonder if it's not talking about the returning. They return because the Messiah has come and he's bringing forth children. In other words, children are being added to the kingdom. Does that make sense now? Children are being added to the kingdom. And so therefore, when we do go back and look at Daniel, 
uh, chapter 7 and verse 25. And he shall think, this is now the, this is no longer speaking. Remember, you got to back up and look at this. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the, a fourth kingdom upon, upon earth, which shall be diverse from all the kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And as for the ten horns out of this kingdom shall ten kings arise and another shall arise after them and shall be diverse from the former. And he shall put down three kings and he shall speak words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints, the holy ones of the Most High. And he shall think to change the seasons and the law or the data or dat vedat right there. You will think to change the, de the decree. And what decree is that? As I shared with you guys earlier, okay, in the book of Ezra, when Cyrus gave the decree to go forth and to build the, uh, to, for the children of Israel to go back and to restore Jerusalem and to rebuild the temple, that was the decree that was given by Cyrus the king. That's Daniel's contemporary. And so what does this one here come to do? And to me, this is the Antichrist right here. He comes and does what? He thinks to change the seasons and the decree. The decree of who? Cyrus. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to have, uh, we're going to have a different time period now. We're going to have another one. Uh, and in this other coming... Uh, <laughs> What's going to happen? We're going to have we're 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 going to we're going to have a a, a a building of the temple now here in modern times because Cyrus's decree really had nothing to do with anything because why that anointed prince never came. See, they have to say the anointed prince never came. It still has to be fulfilled. Therefore, they have to think that they can change the season and the decree of Cyrus in order to bring forth a false messiah an antichrist figure. That's when you will know whoever stands in that temple. I kind of wonder as well if he won't declare himself to be the high priest of Israel. The Messiah. But he will actually be the antichrist. I got to do a little bit more digging though when it comes to this part here that I'm sharing with you now about, and it shall be built again with a broad place and a moat. Ah, Tashuv ve nabinata, and it shall return and bring, and to bring forth children. I don't know. It could still be built. I'm not going to say it's not, uh, because it can be used either way. But in lieu of the fact that to restore and to build Jerusalem until one anointed a prince shall be, shall be seven weeks. Building up Jerusalem could also be the people themselves. If you think about it, look at what Jesus says when, uh, when they go to take, and they get, it's right before they're going to crucify him, and Jesus said when he's over there on the Mount of Olives, looking back over towards the temple, he said, Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I would have hovered you as a hen, as a would her own brood, but you would not. Your house is left unto you desolate until you say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. So, so much allegory that it makes me wonder. I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys. I'll let you think about that a little bit. Listen real quick too. Those of you that are that are interested in LifeWave, right now the company is running a special. I just want to mention that to you guys, those of you that do watch uh, our program here. Uh, if you go to the shop and you were to take and you click on the X39 and X49 bundle right now until I think the 7th of July, they're going to give you an additional SP6. Um, let me just see if it works on here. I just, I've been hearing about this, and I know it works. I just got to figure out where it's at. Let me see if I go to the cart, if I can do that. Uh, let's see here. 
Let's see if you check out as the. Hmm. Well, I can't do it that way. So let me let me let me back up again. Let me go back to shop. Um, let's see if I hit shop. Maybe if I have to go to our, our products. Let's see here. Maybe it's down here somewhere. Uh, I just know that they're doing a special right now. If you get the X39, X49, they're going to include SP6 also in that. This is the XP6 right here. But goodness, I am not, I can't see it from my end here. So may, or maybe, let me just try it again. I'm going to try it from, let me just try it from clicking that way. Still not seeing it that way. Let's see. Let me back up. Maybe it's if you just buy X39 only then. Let's try that. I just know somewhere on there they're giving you the SP6 as well for free. Um, I don't really know right now. I will look at that and try to find. Let me, let me see real quick because my wife actually sent me the link in a text today. She went to pick up her sister. Um... So let's see here. Uh, hmm. Give me one second here, guys. I apologize for the. Okay, let's see. In the back office, you can go to the store, then you click on promotion. Ah, wait a minute. This may be for members. So. Well, you might want to join then because uh, it looks like it is for members here. Let me just let me try the sign in there. I'll do it through. I'm going to do it through my son's website because if you guys want to join, uh, he is handicapped. So you could all. Yeah, there it is. There, here we go right here. Let's see. Lifeway celebra no, celebrating 20 years. Let's see here. See if it's up there. Nope. Let's see. Under promotion. Let's see. She said, go to the, go to your, oh, go to your store. I'm sorry. There we go. Go to your store. Go to promotions. There we go. Aha. There it is right there. All right. So if you're already a LifeWave customer, you can actually get that and you can become a customer. So what do you do? If you want to become a customer, let me quickly tell you how to do that. Uh, you can go to, um, that would be going to our sons there, lifewave.com forward slash. And his is, uh, let's see, Ethan. Let me just see how he got him in there. Ethan's X39 is what you'd put in there, lifewave.com. I'll put it, put it in the description below. Uh, you could go in there. You click on his link right there. Then just go right there to the word shop. When you go to shop, what you want to do is at that point there, uh, you'll need to buy one product just to get started there in order to be able to go over there and take advantage of that uh, promotional that's free there. So get anything you want to get just to start with. Um, you might want to though, go ahead and get on a subscription because you save $50. So let's just say you choose the X39 and you jump in here. You want to add that to the cart. And when you do, you're going to go over there to your cart. Uh, back up. I'm going to just do it like you can see it here. There we go. When you go to checkout, the important thing you want to do, let's see, is it going to let me do this or not? Let's see. Maybe not because I've already done this. Anyway, when you check out, you want to go to Preferred Customer Plus, get on auto ship. You could cancel it anytime. If you decide you don't like it a week later, cancel it. It's very simple to do. But uh, get on auto ship, then jump back in there, go to your promotions once you got your own website, and then you can follow just what I showed you there, and you can get the promotion. SP6, by the way, what does that do? Uh, it reduces cravings and supports hormones, and it proves the function of the liver and pancreas, kidneys, and thyroid. My wife actually uses that patch to help balance her uh, uh, her own hormones, and she's able was able to get off of uh, all bioidentical hormone therapy just from using a patch. It only cost her fifty dollars a month to actually use, so saves a bunch of money in what she was using in bioidentical hormone therapy there. 
Uh, so that might be something you want to check out. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Support our channel as well, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Don't forget EMP Shield. You can check that out, EMPShield.com. $50 you save if you just put in the coupon code INL50. God bless you.